Hey everybody, welcome back to Static Cardiology here on EMTV. I'll be giving you an ECG rhythm and a scenario. At the bottom of the screen you'll see a timer for 1 minute and 30 seconds. This time resembles the average amount of time you should be spending on each card during an actual National Registry exam. Once the time is up, I'll be giving you an answer and then a treatment plan. Good luck. 3, 2, 1. So the treatment for this patient is going to be pretty straightforward, but because this is National Registry, because this is a static cardiology station, you do have to identify the rhythm correctly. Let's go ahead and take a look at that first. First thing I'll do is determine a rate. I got 90. Now while that rate may not be important because this is a pulseless patient, it'll be useful in actually determining what the rhythm is. Let's go ahead and take a look at some of our actual complexes here to see if we can nail it down. So I'll go ahead and use this complex here uh, to make an identification. So I'm seeing a narrow QRS complex, a P wave, and a regular rhythm except for this beat. These complexes here pretty much meet all the criteria for a normal sinus rhythm. However, the extra beat in the center there that kind of breaks up the pattern, breaks up the rhythm of the overall six second strip, doesn't have a P wave present, there's none here, but the QRS complex still remains narrow. Because this is a an abnormal, interrupting, premature ectopic beat of some sort, uh, it's not wide, it doesn't have a P wave, this is actually a PJC. So my diagnosis here for as far as the rhythm would be normal sinus rhythm or sinus rhythm with a PJC. Now because the patient is pulseless, it would be normal sinus rhythm with PJC, but it's PEA, so condition is PEA. Let's move on now to the scenario. So we're dispatched to a private residence for a 69 year old who was found unresponsive by his relatives. When you get there, the patient is unresponsive, pulseless, and apneic. And chest compressions are being performed by the family. Let's go ahead and move on now to the treatment. So as always, we'll begin with the mantra, scene safe, BSI, IV O2 monitor. Because this is a CPR event, we'll go ahead and relieve the family and begin doing cycles of CPR. This is a static cardiology card, remember, so you don't need to list everything in a sequential format. Step by step, you can list treatment in chunks. So what I'd recommend saying is I'm doing cycles of CPR, 30 to two, uh, and we're switching out a provider every two minutes or every five cycles, making sure we have capnography on and getting a waveform um, of 10 or reading of 10 millimeters of mercury to assure good compressions. The only medication that we're going to give here in this instance is going to be epinephrine. It's going to be one milligram of one to 10,000 given every three to five minutes IV push. Because this is a PEA event, we're going to definitely consider our H's and T's. Potential H's and T's here could be like a coronary or pulmonary thrombosis based on his age. 
but I don't have a lot of information to go off of. So just saying I'm gonna consider H's and T's will be enough for any evaluator. And then of course, advanced airway. And usually this means something like I'm gonna go ahead and put in a superglottic like a King Airway or an eye gel just to assure that I've got adequate ventilation and oxygenation going on. And then of course, rapid transport. And that's it. If you like this video, please make sure to subscribe to my channel for more. And feel free and make your own playlists using my static cardiology videos so you can make custom decks to practice for your actual National Registry exam. Until I see you next, have a good rest of your night.